Hola YouTube fam, it's me and I'm back with a new video. I know it's been forever, but I finally got an opportunity to sit down and make a video. So here it is. Um, I also plan to post some other ones because I'm trying to record as many as I can on my off days and that way I can post them here and there. So um, be sure to look out for a few others I'll have posted really soon. Today's video is going to be um, five things I've learned since starting a business. So if you have a business or a brand, this video um, will probably be very informative for you. Just some things I've learned that I'm trying to carry with me as I venture into like entrepreneurship and being like a businesswoman and stuff like that. So stay tuned if you want to hear the little tips I have. If you are new to my channel, thanks for coming and watching. Be sure to subscribe below. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I really love you guys, and we're going to get right into this video. Be sure to comment and leave suggestions below if you have any. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, and here we go. <laughs> okay, so first I'll give you a little background about my business, how I started it and how it's become what it's become. I launched my blog back in November 2016 and from there I was just focused on writing and doing that. So fast forward to this year, um, like I said, it was never my intention to create a business, um, but it ended up becoming that. So sometime back in February, late January, early February, I was honestly just having like a bad day and I was just like you know what I really wish I had something that was like tangible that could just be my reminder to like be encouraged and to be empowered and you know like don't doubt myself the way I was doubting myself at the time and so I was like what can I create that's tangible and inspirational that can you know remind me to just believe in myself and somehow I came up with this idea to create a charm bracelet and so I basically built this bracelet and I, you know, kind of played with how the order of how I wanted it and stuff like that. And I built this bracelet and I'll insert a picture. Um, but I built this bracelet and I was just like, oh my gosh, I really love this. And it really is just what I needed. Um, my word charm said believe. And so I was just like, I really need this. And I can just look down to my wrist and, you know, remember to believe in myself. And my arrow is my representation to, you know, always follow my heart. And so I created this bracelet. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. I'm going to make some for my friends. <laughs> and so I went back to Hobby lobbies and Michaels and got some more supplies and you know got the things that I felt represented my friends and I created two more for two of my best friends gave them to them they loved them and I was like you know what maybe I can like mass produce this and it wasn't even about the money honestly it was more about like I just want this to be an inspiration to other people. It was inspirational for me. And I thought, you know, this could really inspire and empower other people, you know, and they can customize it the way they want. And, you know, la di da -di. And so lo and behold, that small idea to create a bracelet for myself ended up becoming the foundation of my business. And so I added an online store to my website and I, you know, started creating these bracelets or I basically used the ones I created for myself and my best friends as um, promo material. <laughs> and that initially, uh, like I said, started the foundation of my business. So I don't really have a business name. I just go under what my blog is called, which is Always Autumn. And through that, I sell what I ended up naming the yours truly bracelet and it's basically a bracelet that can speak for you so it's completely customizable you can personalize it and it kind of just went from there and so once I started selling them you know they started doing pretty good because at first I was like really doubtful I was like this is not gonna sell people aren't gonna want this like I can be very doubtful of myself and so I was just like you know what I'm just go for it it is what it is if two people buy it or if the world buys it I'm gonna be happy and so when I started selling them I started getting really good responses and I was just like thank you lord you know because like this is what I want I just want to inspire people I wanted it to go along with my niche of my blog and that's what it did so that's how I kind of started <laughs> that and it ended up becoming you know quote unquote a business and so now I'm selling bracelets and I've learned so much since February that was back in February I've learned so much since then it is not an easy task to run a business by any means necessary so you know shout out to all these people who are starting businesses and brands and running them whether by yourself or with somebody because it's not not an easy task so you know shout out to you all well that's a little bit about my business and now I'll share with you a couple of the things I have learned since launching always autumn 
the business portion of it. Okay, so my first tip when starting a business or a brand is create your business or brand around something you're passionate about. It really shouldn't be about the money per se. If your business or brand is profitable, making money shouldn't be your first like, oh, I'm doing this because I want to make money. That shouldn't be your first thought in my opinion. Yes, making a profit is important because if you plan for this to be large and you plan to like live off of this, of course you want whatever you're creating to be profitable. But I think most importantly, it should be a passion. So really think about, you know, like outside of making money, why are you creating this business? Why are you creating this brand? Why are you um, offering this service to, you know, potential clients or to the world. And so for me, that was, that held true, you know, that, you know, making these bracelets really became a passion and it, it coincided with what I was passionate about. And that was inspiring people and, you know, uplifting people. And so, you know, like I said, it was never my intention to sell these bracelets, but once I saw like how it made me feel and my friends when I made it for them, I was just like, you know what? I think this would be marketable. I think I could do really well selling this. And it's something I'm passionate about. I get so excited when I get orders and I start creating these bracelets that, you know, these ladies have customized or I've had a male friend order one for his girlfriend. And so I get so excited, you know, making these bracelets and putting their order together the way they vision it um, and bringing their vision to life through a bracelet and you know seeing like well what word did they choose or what tassel color did they choose or you know how did they create their bracelet and I just get so excited and they come out so cute I'm just like oh my gosh and so I really love doing it and I love you know one thing I do um more so if I know the person personally I write a personalized um you know tag on it and so I really just love you know writing and you know telling them thank you for supporting and you know I hope this bracelet can inspire you um to you know always be true to your your authentic self because that's what the yours truly bracelet was was about it was about being authentic to who you were and to like believing in yourself or you know having faith or um you know reminding yourself that you're beautiful um and so I would build off of whatever word they chose and you know really write this inspiring message and you know something I felt you know could uplift them and they could go back to that note and read that if they had to and so for me like I said the bracelets were really um just a passion I really enjoyed making them so my first tip would be you know it's not all about the money and the profit you'll make off of whatever your business or your brand um, is about if you're marketing it to be profitable it's really about is this a passion because what I find it's not easy running a business at all but it's a lot easier and it's a lot more enjoyable when it's also a passion so just think about that. If you're starting a business or a brand, are you really passionate about what you're starting? So that's my first piece of advice. Okay, so my second piece of advice or tip is don't rush the process. I think sometimes we get these ideas and we're like, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. I love that idea. And then you want to like put it out there tomorrow. Take time to do research. Take time to really build this business or build this brand. Take time to perfect your craft or your service or whatever you're offering. Take time to really make it the best that it can be. Don't rush the process because you're excited about it or because you're in a rush to make money or, you know, whatever the case may be. Take your time to really, you know, put in all the effort that needs to be put in in building this business and building this brand because, you know, your brand is a representation of you. So you want to make sure you're putting out the best product you want to make sure you're putting out the best service you want to make sure you're offering your customers or your clients the best service that you can and you don't want to rush into anything and not be prepared for what's to come because I know when I started I was like okay I'm gonna sell these bracelets and um I felt like looking back, I kind of launched a little prematurely because I hadn't ordered stuff in bulk yet. I hadn't done a lot of things that I know are crucial now to like running um, this business where I'm selling bracelets or whatever and, and bracelets that I like build um, or are made to order. So it was more than just, you know, running the Hobby Lobby because what if Hobby Lobby don't doesn't have what I need. So I had to think beyond, you know, the instant and think, okay, long term, I need to order in bulk. So 
try not to do anything prematurely um take your time with building it take your time with launching it you know set deadlines because i think that helps but also don't be afraid to not make that deadline you know don't rush the process because when you rush the process a lot of times you'll find yourself making mistakes or you're not ready and you become more overwhelmed when if you would have just waited a little while and let it all work out at its own accord and on its own time span it could have possibly been a little bit better than you rushing through it or you know launching prematurely so take your time to build your brand take your time to launch your brand or your business and just make sure that it's a hundred percent when you do it okay so my third tip is be professional and this is with anything you do but when you're launching your own business or your own brand being professional is very important because this is a representation of you like i said in the last tip your name is on this your image is on this your image and name are attached to your project so being professional is a must you know customer service is important in almost any aspect or area of business and so making sure that you're being professional you're not being rude to your clients you're communicating well with your clients making sure that your sites, whether it's Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, or maybe you have your own website, making sure those are, you know, um, well done. It's not anything that's sloppy or, you know, it just looks like someone threw it together. Really marketing yourself and marketing your brand and your business is a big part to me in being professional. Like if your customers have questions, are you easy to reach? Are you, um, are you available? Um, do you do you respond to your emails or your text messages accordingly um, or, you know, promptly? So just being professional, as professional as you can, you know, have, you know, business cards, have marketing, um, have marketing flyers and making sure your website is up to date and uh, your contact information is on there. And asking for feedback, I think, is important as well. I have a review um, section on my website and I really love for people to leave reviews because I want to know like what I can do better how can I better service my clients and customers so being professional is my third so my fourth tip is time management time management I think it's crucial when you're starting a business or launching a brand especially if your business or brand is not the only thing you're doing so I have a full-time job and I go to work and then I come home and I have orders to make or I have you know a client to consult with for a website making sure that I'm you know I'm offering the service so you know I may be exhausted from work but I know I need to sit down and work on some of these orders and try to get them out as soon as possible because people have made, paid their money for this product so time management is very very important learning how to balance all the things that you're doing um, is going to be crucial for you to be successful because you don't want to get behind and like I said if you're doing something where you have orders you don't want to have a million orders that you haven't sent out and they were ordered like over a month ago or something like that that's not going to help you know keep your business profitable that's not going to help with your ratings from your customers um, that's not going to help them refer you to other people to prop to possibly get more um, clients coming through the door or onto your site or you know getting traffic to your site so time management is very, very important. That's something I'm still learning how to work on. I'm still learning how to like have enough energy to go to my nine to five and then come home and, you know, work on, you know, orders and websites and this and that and this and that. So time management is very, very important. Learn how to balance your schedule the best you can. And that leads into tip number five, which is don't be afraid to ask for help. I have a big problem with this. I don't like to ask things of people. Um, just because I feel like I'm responsible for it, you know, like this is my thing, so I need to like figure out how to do it. But you don't have to be in it alone. You know, if you have a partner, power to you because they're gonna be a big help to you. Um, but not being afraid to ask for help, you know. One thing with my bracelets is that they're custom made, they're made to order. So sometimes I have to, you know, like figure out how I'm gonna do this plus my job plus this, plus that. And so sometimes I have to sit down and say, you know, hey, Reese, which is one of my best friends, can you help me? You know, make a couple of these bracelets. I have a lot of orders and I really just need to catch up. Can you help me? Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask people to help you market or promote your business. You know, me and my best friend, we are constantly, you know, sharing things on Facebook for each other. I'll share her post. She has a photography business. So I'll share her posts and stuff like that. She'll share mine. Um, 
not being afraid to ask for help. And I think, you know, that's going to be crucial to how successful your business is as well. Find somebody that can help you. Maybe that can be a, a business partner with you. You know, um, that's something me and my best friend are working on. And so we're low key kind of like, even though we have two separate things, she's my business partner. You know, she helps me when I need help and I help her. I've been on photo shoots with her, snapping pictures and, you know, so we make it work. So don't be afraid to ask for help. A lot of the time, you know, people are more than willing to help you. So don't be afraid to ask your friends or family for help if you need it. Number six, and this will probably be my last thing that I can think of, is um, be resourceful. And I that's something I've had to learn since launching my mentor program and now launching a business be resourceful I remember when I launched my mentor program I needed a website now if you go on some of these people's sites and nothing's wrong with this I'm not saying anything's wrong because it takes a lot to build a website and so I can see how the prices reflect that and because of that I could not afford when I uh, started my mentor program I couldn't afford an 800 900 thousand dollar website and so I said well what you gonna do <laughs> you know and that's when I decided, okay, I have to figure out how to make my own website. I have to figure out how to make my own infographics and, you know, flyers and this and that because I couldn't afford to pay anyone to do that for me. So, you know, I would sit on YouTube and watch tutorials on how to photo, how to use Photoshop, how to use Illustrator. I started using like GoDaddy and Wix and WordPress to figure out how to like build a website and all this other stuff. So sometimes you have to be resourceful. If you can't afford something, how can you kind of like help yourself through it and learn how to do it yourself? Or if you can find people who you know personally that wouldn't mind helping you and maybe not charge you as much as you know what some website designers charge or what it costs to you know take pictures or something like that if you can't afford that you know some people's prices right off the back see if you have connects and network with people don't be afraid to network that's another big and big thing don't be afraid to network with people because you don't know how that person can connect you to the next person so um I guess that does go with resources. Use your resources and learn to be re resourceful, whether it's with people, whether it's with learning how to do something yourself, be resourceful because that's going to be a big help to you as well. Keep thinking of all these other things. That leads me to something else. Don't feel some type of way if people don't support your thing. Everybody's not going to buy your product. Everybody's not going to support your business. Everybody's not going to support your brand. You can't feel some type of way about that. You have to have a thick skin and that was something I had to learn because I was like oh I just love my bracelet I hope everybody buys it you know la da 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 everybody's not gonna buy it your family is not gonna buy it you know like um, well not everybody in your family is not gonna buy it not all of your friends are gonna buy your product you know it speaks to who it speaks to you know and it, it'll draw the people that it's meant to draw in so don't feel some type of way if you feel like people you thought would support you aren't supporting you and stuff like that you know it is what it is and that's the thing you have to learn you know if you're selling a product in particular you're gonna learn that you're gonna have highs and lows highs and lows highs and lows there's gonna be days where you have orders out the door and then those be there'll be days where you don't have any orders at all I had days go by where I don't have any orders and then I check my email I'm like yeah I got it you know I got an order so you know it's always gonna be up and down it's always gonna be up and down if you're selling your product um, and somebody else told me um, she also has a business that that's why it's really important to have multiple incomes because and that's true you know you are gonna have those highs and lows so there's gonna be days where you don't have any orders and if you don't have any orders coming in how are you gonna maintain your lifestyle so you know until you get to the part where you're like really self-sufficient on this one source of income or your business is bringing in so much that you can really just depend on that and that alone I do think I do completely agree with her and you know believe it is important to have you know multiple income so that I think is the last thing I can think of um, in all of that. So I hope that helps anyone, you know, starting a business out there or starting a brand, just some things to keep in mind, some things I've learned and that have helped me and that I'm still learning how to, you know, do the best, how to do to the best of my ability. So that's it for this video. Let me know what else you would like to see. Definitely leave comments below. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Love you.